Pesto's Test Kitchen oh, for right. a special holiday version. It is. Yeah. Why don't you introduce our guest, Mark? Well, Hi. Amanda, Hi. how are you? Amanda's Hi. back. Pastry Amanda chef to the, the pastry stars. chef for Bistro 1907. Mm -hmm. Mother of Jack, who is wandering around somewhere. Yeah, we have right. a little one. And, hus and wife to Chucky. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and well, oh, the reason is, is oh, wow. we're going to make Christmas cookies today. Five oh different God. kinds. Why don't you go through the kinds we're going to make? All right, so we're going to do uh, lemon thyme pizzelles. Mm -hmm. We're going to do chocolate pistachio orange zested biscotti. Uh -huh. We're going to do the famous um, clothes pins yes. that everyone has at Christmas time. Yes. Right. We're going to do um, cannolis, right. the cannoli filling. And then we're going to do um, black cherry almond thumbprints. Yes. So this isn't a traditional Christmas. This is more of an Italian, Italian Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. so this is what I, my first Christmas cookie was a pizzelle. Okay. My great grandmother Rosanna, who never spoke a word of English, uh -huh. she's like, just Marco, Marco, Marco. And that was your job. That was my job. You yeah. Know, so. Mine too. At my house, yeah, there were two jobs. Either grate the giant wheel of Parmesan cheese that Grandpa nice. got in Amish country <laughs> for $4, or you were in charge of pizzelles. And so as we flipped, my brother and I, and I often got the Patels. So I'm going to well, work on the Patels. Today, today you're in charge of the Patels. Yeah, He's that's right. Be an expert. Now, these, these are, you? There's some things in, in baking these cookies uh, that take some true. patience. Oh, okay. So in like doing the Patels, you got to yeah. sit there and wait a little bit. Yeah. But it's worth it in the end. Yeah. What was your What was your thing? Sugar cookies. They're not Sugar even really cookies. Italian at all. No, no. they're not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Well, all right. I cannot go. wait to see your skills. Right. <laughs> it's been a long time. Wait, before we go, favorite Christmas cookie is? I would have to say the favorite Christmas cookie for me growing up was the Buckeye. Oh, and, uh, we never had those. Oh my God, we had them. Gosh, yeah. I would have loved somebody, them. Somebody made the Buckeyes and I've just loved them yeah. ever since. How about you? I had, my mom made a Christmas brownie. Huh? It was like layered with chocolate and cream cheese and some like little like, you know, sprinkles of chocolate chips to die for. She awesome. makes for my birthday. Does she still make them? She made, yeah, she uh, still makes them. And that's why we're so glad that she moved here. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? That's so the reason. brownies for everybody. Uh, yeah, I love it. Thanks for moving up, Tom. Can't wait to see the brownies this Christmas. Love ya. Yeah. You, I was going to say, this, uh, the idea of doing an Italian version of a lot of these things, though, is the reason why, you know, Scott's family, when I moved to Youngstown, mm -hmm. that was huge. Oh, my and gosh. You introduced me to that, and so did you, and so mm -hmm. I can't wait to see It's just like the, the, the Youngstown cookie table yeah. at weddings. That's yeah. big. Yeah. Everybody tries to outdo themselves. I know that. And <laughs> if, if somebody doesn't see their cookie out on the display, Play. They're very offended, so you have to make sure everybody's cookies, because yeah. everybody's so proud of their Christmas cookies, mm -hmm. their wedding cookies. It's mm -hmm. such a great heritage. I also get very upset when I go to a wedding and there's not a cookie table. Well, yeah. like, we're from Youngstown. The deal breaker. You gotta do that. Well, you no. better not the travel cookie. outside of state. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what'd you have? <laughs> Did you have a favorite yeah. cookie growing up? Um, a frosted sugar cookie. That, that was your and favorite. Then, and then the peanut broth. I thought that was your With job to make. Oh, oh, yeah. My job was always wrapping the foil off of the kisses and putting them in, you know. How many actually made it to the cookie? Like one third goes in the belly. <laughs> Since you said that one, I will tell you that my mom makes these orange cookies. They're about this big. They melt in your mouth, and there's some frosting on top. I, I don't know the name of them. They're just called orange cookies. Yep. That's all I can. Yep. Orange. Orange. So they're literally yes. orange in color. No, they're mm -hmm. white in color, but they taste, taste like, like a little okay. light. So it's probably a butter cookie. Bit That's why it melts mm -hmm. so easily on your palate. It's, it, it's beyond that. It's even better than that. <laughs> so, so do you have to do this all the time? Yeah. I'm guessing yes. you have to bake for people all the time. We yeah. thought we'd yeah. do the baking for you today. So. I'm going to work on the pizzelles. Yes. Give me a tip here. Um, well, you want to always um, We're going to spray first, right? Yeah. Both sides or both just si one? Both sides. Okay. And make sure you, you know, yep, don't be spray it up. with it. So, okay. Amanda, when you go into the thought process of picking out a pizzelle iron, what do you like to talk about? Okay. Do you want Teflon? Do you like the old school like this? This is old school. This is grandma's, but this is new. We just uh -huh. got it. But no, that's way too much. Okay. You're going to want to. Maybe I should watch you. You're going to want to level it off first. <laughs> How do you know it's way too much? Well, is it going to go over the edge? It's like making a waffle and you get like the yeah. everywhere. You don't want don't that. Don't waste. No, you don't want that. Okay. Oh, so scrape it up on the mm -hmm. side. So just find a scoop that's like perfect for the size you need and okay. you don't have to like play around with it. How do I know when this is done? So clip it mm -hmm. and then when it stops steaming. So it's roughly about 30 seconds. Ours has a light on it. This doesn't have the light. Well, nice. It's a light well, garment. Grandma's didn't have light. They had probably, you know. Grandma's but just knew. She's like old school. It's like they didn't have to measure. They just feel. knew. Yeah. So how do I get it now? Well, you're going to watch the steam. Yeah. And when the steam stops coming out. Yeah you're gonna know that it's done. Is and it then still... depending on the darkness that you want, like if you really want it dark, then keep it in a little longer, okay. but oh, see, some see, people no. don't. But you gotta remember also, once it stops time? cooking, yeah, it's gonna continue to get colored. Take it off, see, look at that. Oh, wow. And then you wow. can use the knife, oh, obviously. Use, so this to... is old school. Yeah. This isn't ready yet, I don't think. No, it's good. Can I get it? Okay. There you yeah. go. Just, All right. just be gentle. Yep. Okay, move on to the next cookie then. I got this, I got this, you guys. That's the biscotti. Huh? I mean, that's the pizza. Yes. Look at how perfect that is. 
it's not big enough. We should have put more dough in there. Okay, we'll do this one. All right, this one. This one we're making the biscotti. My mom is a big fan. Yes. The biscotti in general. So do we go wet dry here, Amanda? Yeah, wet ingredients okay, so with dry we're ingredients? Do, yeah, we're going to put, um, we're going to start with the sugar. Okay. And the oil. The oil. Sugar this one's oil. olive oil. Usually you could use butter, but I like to use olive oil. Okay. That's so it's just a blend of olive oil and canola. And then, so then you're going to start to mix her. And this is and You're just going to quickly combine it. So we're just going to turn it on real quick. And then from there, we're going to add our eggs. Now, Amanda, do you have to have a stand mixer to use this, or can you use the old-fashioned one like Grandma had? Yeah, you could use the old-fashioned Okay, one. okay. And then you're going to want to do this. Do we have a microplane around here? We do. Oh, right here behind you. A microplane. You're going to want to zest the orange. Oh, yeah. Try to get the sticker in there, too, if you can do <laughs> Don't it. Don't put the sticker in there. You're going to want to okay. that. I'm zesting it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So and just flip it over and, and put the zest in there. Absolutely. Okay. Just like that. Can I flip it? Oh, yeah, it goes. Yeah, that's good. Um, you're going to want to do oh, half, half of an orange. Okay. And oh, then goodness. while you're doing that, I'm just going to scrape the sides down. Okay, so we get everything in. And while you're doing that, I'm going to roll the clothes, out the puff pastry the, yes, for the clothespins, correct? Yes. And then you can buy this at the store instead of making it yourself because it's a very long involved process. So we're just going to roll this out. Let it come to room temperature. Roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick, correct? Yes. And I'm rolling it out on a great piece of uh, baking equipment. It's called a Silpat sheet. And this is non-stick. You can use it to bake your cookies with. Um, it, it just makes life so much easier. You don't have to butter your pans anymore or anything like that. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Enough? Yeah. Hey, Mark, look at you. Look yeah. at the cookies yeah. And this is a French rolling pin, one of my favorite rolling pins because it's all one piece. You don't have any chance of any wet ingredients get inside of the dowels yes. and, and creating some kind of bacterial growth. Okay, so you're so going to turn it up back on to mix it up. And then from there, we're going to add the um, dry ingredients. So you're going to add your flour. Okay. So Amanda, how thick am I going to cut these, these strips? About like... Quarter inch? That, yeah, that's perfect. Quarter inch, perfect. And then, and then we're, gonna your we're gonna buy the dowels at either a hardware store, your favorite bakery outlet. And these are already pre-seasoned. When I say pre-seasoned, they're already so they're like non-stick. Yes. Perfect. And then we're going to add this. Open it up. Boom. Yeah, and then you're going to want to add your um, pistachios. A little bit at a time maybe, or yeah. all, all at once? A little bit at a time is fine. Well, Mark knows you know, we, we, have, we have a thing with scallions, so, yeah. You got about 30 seconds, you guys. 30 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to take the dowel, I'm going to take the dough, okay. and I'm just going to gently wrap the dough around the dowel to create that classic clothespin. And I don't know if I'm, I'm doing this quite as well as you, Amanda, but I'm going to give it heck. And I'm just going to wet the edge of it. You are. Right water. there. And then we're going to bake this how, Amanda? We're going to put it on, well, you can put it on your soap pad. You can show them just like that. Seam side down. Seam side down. Seam side down. And then you're going to bake it at 350 for about eight minutes. And everybody, welcome Jack to the set. Jack's Hi, Jack. Jack. Jack is here. Make Hi, Jack. Christmas Merry Christmas. He's had a little snow cone, so his face is a little warm. That's all right. <laughs> kind of like we, mom's cookies. We, we, all right, when we come back, <laughs> we will be back and have more from Pesto's Test Kitchen. Nice job, you guys. All right. All right keep working. Keep trying. Test kitchen. We have been working. We have been. Oh, look at my Patel. You did a great job, Mike. I mean, oh, you really did a nice job. You did, well, a very, you did a really good these, job. And try these lemon ones when you find the recipe. Mm -hmm. They're different and they're really good. So oh, they are. Kudos to you. Thank kudos you. to the chef. Yes. Yeah. Hasn't very done squat so far. <laughs> oh, well, All right. What fine. else are you going to make us do? So today we're going to do uh, thumbprints. Okay. So I mean, any 
It's basically a sugar cookie dough, um, and then I added cream muscle? cheese. So you can do oh, mascarpone oh, if you no want way. to, or cream cheese to the to the dough. Okay. Um, so all you do, basically, you just cream Again, it. So you cream thing. your butter, your sugar, this you add your, your little little wedding ingredients. I've already pinched my finger. Oh, so cookies <laughs> are all about right measurements, and these are perfect for that. Baking is a science, Michael. Absolutely. It is not just you can wing it. It's right. all you science. Totally flunk you science. Just do you this. Just tell Michael he can't wing something. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. 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 It's okay. kind of like making buckeyes. Okay. You know, or like snowballs. Okay. And you just roll them, roll it into the sugar. It's all coming back to me. There you go. And then you can and then use you your get thumb a big fat grandpa to put your thumb in it, right? Yeah, or if you're like me, that's kind of, you know, not really. You cool. don't really do so, the thumb? No. So you just take, you could use your dowel that you used for, you know, your clothespins and just use the bottom of it, stick it in, yeah. um, and then find your favorite jelly that you like. Any kind of jelly that you what like. Are we this having? is a uh, black cherry. Okay. So this is an almond okay. um, dough. Almond and cherries go very, very cherries. well together. And then you just fill it like that. Yeah. Put it in your oven for 350 mm -hmm. um, for about eight minutes. Are you all just cookies want it to get just a little brown, but not anything crazy. Are all cookies about 350 Around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, one thing that's really like important, that yeah. though, you want to make sure that your oven's calibrated, because if you have an uncalibrated oven, you can have very different cooking times, and you can have uneven <laughs> oh, browning oh and cooking times on your oven yeah. as well. All right. Okay. Go to so the next that's one. That's perfect. Nice job right, on the clothespins, so Mark. Pins. Yeah, oh, thank, you, thank you, thank you, nice. thank you. All right, so I made the filling ahead of time because it's a lot of mixing. And basically all you do is mix um, sugar and butter. Mm -hmm. And then once that's really white and whipped and fluffy and sugar delicious, and butter, baby. you add a, um, a cooked milk and flour. It's like a paste to it, almost like a pudding, with some marshmallow fluff. So that's all right. what you do with Can that. Can you cut the tip of your thing off there? I got it. All right, so you add, put it in a, paste, a piping bag. It's so right. much easier. And then any any tip that you want, like a flowery tip Give it to or anything. Him. Give it to him. Oh, We're going to fill him first. Kids might be watching. All right, and then you're just going to fill. You know, you know the marshmallow boy over there. He doesn't like. I didn't make my own fluff, so oh, I hope it's okay for you. No. I don't know if this is to my I don't like know. It, yeah, you know it could not be my standards. I don't know. Come to the restaurant and get yourself a marshmallow. I've had them. They're delightful. Yes. Okay. So right. we're, gonna, we're gonna cut some biscottis now. Yeah. yeah. So we're doing that. But I'll work you, on this. You want to do this? Too. You want to top <laughs> it with some powdered sugar? Oh god. If you don't have a sugar shaker, you can use a fancy colander. Why or this does it have to go shit? through that sifter thing? Because well, it's so like nice crumbs. and powdered. Exactly. Are there are crumbs in the sugar? Y yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I didn't know. All right. Go ahead, so biscotti guy. I am going to cut these biscottis. Amanda baked this for about 300 at 350 degrees, 35 to 40 minutes, and you want to let it cool down after it comes out of the oven. So it just it's a very very dense right. log of biscotti dough, it and I'm going like to cut. It's from Outback. It does look like it's from. Yeah. Well, I made you some bread. <laughs> so we're just going to cut these Ooh. about a half inch thick, and we're going to lay them back out on the tray because biscotti in Italian means what, my case? Twice baked. All right. Thank you. There we go. Mike with the good cue. Yeah. All right. So you just cut these out, and then we're going to bake them again, Amanda, for how long? We're going to bake them for about five minutes. About five yeah, minutes. You just want them to just get a little extra finish on them. Okay, great. Perfect. And again, we're using that fancy sill patch sheath, which you can buy from your favorite online supplier. They had great deals on Black Friday mm -hmm. and Cyber Monday. So they're very inexpensive now. And really, at cleanup time, you're really going to like that because it really saves you a lot of elbow grease. All right. Okay. Let's take our break. When we come back, we're going to make the cannoli shell. In the filling. And then we're going to fill the cannolis, mm -hmm. right? Yep, that sounds great. I All right. can't wait. Because who doesn't leave it like a cannoli? The What's the favorite line the from the Godfather? Take the gun. No, leave the gun. <laughs> Just take the gun. <laughs> <laughs> little quick culinary tip there, Ron. <laughs> take your chocolate, put it into a baggie. Take your French rolling pin or your, your favorite rolling pin and just start chopping it up. And that'll break it up perfectly for the ends of the cannoli. All right, we are back. What are you working on there, Amanda? So we're making the cannolis. Yeah, the cannolis. we did the dough. The dough's made the of dough these ingredients, made, correct? Yeah, flour, butter, um, egg, cin or cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, salt, and then a little bit of a sweet marsala. So you can either do like a sweet Come white wine or, um, or dry. So depending well, on what you like. Okay. Well, because cannolis come from Sicily. Mm -hmm. So being from Sicily, marsala is produced in that area. Well, thank you, Sicily. The fact Sicily. that she started those already, our videographers are, uh, and our photographers here on set 
their faces that didn't are work. like that one didn't work. No, they're just like wow. How do I get that out? Amazing though. No, that'll to... be an open face one though. That'll be great. That's I still want to cut it off. <laughs> I was gonna say just put the cannoli on top of it, and I'm good to go. Oh so, boy. Oh, no. that's okay. Mm. That's okay. That's why we're here to show them. Okay, so sometimes you have failures. Or in the kitchen. Happy in the little kitchen. accidents. Happy I like, life, I like to say happy little accidents. Happy little accidents. Yeah. So Amanda's going to, and that's that's 350 degree canola oil, correct? Uh, uh, 375. 375. 375. So that way we get those nice little crunchy little pockets exactly. that you have right here. Those little bubbles. Um, we need a little egg on there to yeah. stick it? Yep, yep, so we do. All right. All right, so you want to do a little bit of egg. And honestly, if you want to use your wind chimes okay. to make these, yeah, that's yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah, or yeah. maybe a pipe organ um, that you disassembled. I no. like it. I like it. I like it. Um, or sometimes you could even just use foil. So you foil can make like a stuff. foil tube. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Okay. Once they're Good done, luck. Amanda, they come Good out luck. nice and crunchy like this. Uh -huh. We've actually done those. We've done those. So then you take your favorite ricotta filling or mascarpone, whatever way you like to do your cannolis, and you pipe it in. And then what I like to do for me is I love pistachios and I love dark chocolate. So we're just going to dip the ends, one in chopped pistachios, one in chopped chocolate. We're going to put it over here. And then, you know, we want to make it fancy for our guests because we love being, you know, kicking that up a little bit. So I just take some oh, melted this, chocolate and we're just going to spray that over the top just like that. From a foot nice. high. From a foot high. Well, you have you got to get the good strands. you got to get the good strands. So that's why we do that. I and then they come out like this. And look at those. Your guests are going to be blown away. Oh, yeah. The cannolis, once that chocolate dries, is going to be amazing. We got and look, one. Mike, got pull one out. Is it done? Uh, oh, it needs a few minutes. All right. Take that, seconds. little Italy. And we know what we're doing. And the thing is, is that when you go to the dollar store and you're shopping for your kids' science yeah. project. Whatever favorite store you want to go to, whether it's the dollar store or Ron's favorite. Kmart. Um, right. We come over here. Now we can build some boxes for our family and friends. So you can do the chocolate biscottis. Amanda made some regular plain biscottis. You can put a couple of your favorite thumbprints, a couple of your favorite. I just thumbprints. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. those are great. Yeah. Look at that. And you just build that, you give that to your friends, your family, and it's perfect. How do we do over there, boys and girls? Pretty good. Okay, <laughs> yeah, the, the happy well, Mike, accident is still delicious. No, Mike, right. get the real one. Get, one one. get I in know, there. I shouldn't have worn the You're blocks, like our whatever. guinea pig. I know. What was yeah, that little kid on TV? Mikey likes it. Mikey likes it. There we go. Yes. And? Oh, am I like it? Mikey likes it. Yeah, good one. Oh I'm going to go for a classic biscotti. Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers to you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Happy Christmas. Bon Natal. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Some extra filling. And this, your favorite eggnog, your favorite coffee, anything to dip these cookies yeah, with, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. To you and your families, Merry Christmas from all of us.